What's going on you guys and welcome back to the ARA show. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the dividends that I've received in the year 2021 across all of my accounts. So not just only my dividend portfolio, but also my growth portfolio, my Robinhood, and some of the other random miscellaneous accounts that I have. And hopefully through this video, it'll inspire you guys while you guys are trying to reach your journey of financial freedom to, you know, at least start somewhere in your passive income journey. So with that being said, before we head to the intro, comment down below how much dividends you think that I received in the year 2021, or also comment down how much you received in the year 2021. So with that being said, cue that intro. All right, so starting off with my first account is my M1 Finance Dividend Growth Portfolio. And this is my portfolio designed to get dividends and dividend growth over the long term. And what I mean by this is I'm really targeting high growth companies that provide a dividend, of course, and then hoping in the long term that they'll be able to grow their dividends at such a great pace that by the time I'm able to retire, the yield on cost is so great that you know it was definitely worth investment and of course i go way more into detail about this approach dividend growth investing in my other video so i would highly recommend checking that out if you have no idea what the hell i just said but anyways with that being said let's take a look at how i did in the year 2020 and 2021 so i first started this portfolio in the year 2020 and i got a whopping 11 cents in the first month and of course i started off with a whopping 500 dollars, which is relatively small I started off by investing, I believe, $50 every single week. Somewhere along, along the lines, I bumped it up to $75, $100, and now I'm doing $150 every single week. And now my portfolio is sitting around $8,000, so we definitely have been improving. So as you guys can see, I have a nice little gain, a nice little return of 43%. And then in the total, since inception for this portfolio, I've got around $118 worth of dividends. And in the year 2021, I am up $90.27 in just dividends. So as you can see from here, my monthly average in 2020 was about $2.71. But then in 2021, we went all the way to $7.52. We nearly tripled, if I'm doing my math correctly, how much dividends we got in the year 2020 to the year 2021. So I'm definitely excited about all the hard work that we put in as a channel. And hopefully, you know, we see this little trajectory over here. This keeps going and it becomes even more rapid. I mean, we went from around $16.26 in 2020 to all the way to $90.27. I couldn't be more happy, but this is the first step in the snowball effect, which basically in the beginning, you're not going to be making as much. You're going to see more of an exponential curve. So you kind of see how this is going up more rapidly. That's what we're looking for in this portfolio at least. So that being said, a whopping majority of my dividends come from this account over here. So $90.27. And I have a total amount at the end, so you guys don't have to keep traffic of all that. So with that being said, let's hop into my next portfolio. For my next portfolio is my growth portfolio inside of my M1 account. And for some reason I have it saying growth dividend, but it's just a growth portfolio. And these stocks are mostly stocks such as Tesla, ArcW, where I actually got most of my dividends from, and Phase Square and so on. I definitely have a video on this, so definitely check that out. If you guys want to know a little bit more behind the scenes on this portfolio that I like to call the ARA ETF, which has not been doing well. Um, but you know, that's that's for a different video. We're not gonna be talking about all that. We're looking for something positive, so we're not gonna be talking about all that. So anyways, with this portfolio, it's mostly about growth and I'm not actually looking for dividends. So the dividends are kind of like icing on the cake here. And we're like I said before, we're not really looking for dividends, unlike my dividend portfolio, the one that we showed right before. So that being said earlier, this account in 2020 was actually an Acorns account, which is basically just a bunch of ETFs. If you follow what Acorns is, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically just in another brokerage and they basically do robot advisory for you. So basically they invest for you. You don't really have to do anything. So with that, I was actually getting a lot more dividends as the, the portfolio amount actually increased. I'm not getting that much because most of the stocks that I have inside this portfolio don't end up paying a dividend. So as you can see in 2020, it went from $18.13 all the way up to $18.99 and most of the money in this portfolio actually came right around December and when I say most of the money I'm talking about the dividends and that was all because of the ETFs that I have and most of these ETFs unlike most ETFs that you guys know VOO 
some of the Vanguard funds, these do not pay out quarterly. They actually pay out annually. So that month happens to be December. So I got a pretty nice little payday there. And those ETFs that I have inside this portfolio are ARCW and ESPO. So with that being said, I didn't go up too much. But like I said before, I'm not really looking for dividends inside of this portfolio. So we went up but maybe about like, I don't know, like 80 cents if I'm doing my math correctly. And our average went up. Our monthly average went up about seven cents but as we add more and more money to this account and as we reinvest those dividends by the way we're investing reinvesting all of these dividends so it's not like i'm keeping it for myself but as we're doing this the portfolio is going to increase and also so is the dividend account and the amount of dividends that we're getting per month so that's something that i'm looking forward to and it's kind of the fun part about this whole entire journey so with that being said, let's take a look at my Roth IRA. So unlike my other two portfolios, this one I actually started in the year 2021. As you guys can see, I have no core evidence of any investing in the year 2020. So of course the average is gonna be zero dollars because we didn't get any dividends. In fact, we weren't even investing back then. So with this portfolio, I only have about four or five holdings. Three of them I consider to be very safe and two of them are very risky. I would not recommend this to anybody. I'm just I don't know i'm just very bored with my life and i like to be a little bit risky because i feel like i'm young so definitely do not advise this but anyways all these portfolios and pies for m1 finance will be available in the link in the description just in case you guys want to check it out but nonetheless let's take a take a look at how many dividends i got in the year 2021 so we got approximately about $11.52, which isn't anything crazy. I mean, our portfolio in the Roth IRA isn't as big as my dividend growth, which was about 8,000 and my, or my dividend growth was 8,000 and then my growth portfolio was about 4,000. So this is about half the size. And of course we're getting a good amount of dividends, about $11, which we are reinvesting. But again, it's not as much as I would like to have and it's not as much as compared to some of the other dividends that we're getting inside those other accounts. So hopefully, again, we'll see that snowball effect in five to 10 years where we're getting a lot more dividends as we're investing more and more. And this account, I believe I invest about 100 or $115. I think it's $100 every single week. So yeah, we're trying to be able to max out the amount that you can invest inside your Roth IRA, which is $6,000 for my age. Um, right now we're doing about 5200 so just about $800 shy, but hopefully I'll be able to, you know, be able to max that out. So with that being said, that's about $11.52 that we can add to the total. Let's take a look at my next account. We got one of my newer accounts and this is my Merrill account and my Merrill account is there primarily as a emergency fund. And I know it sounds a little bit crazy getting dividends from the emergency fund, but I'm a little bit more riskier and I also do actually need this money. I have a pretty large purchase coming up in the year 2022. So instead of just holding it in a high interest savings account, which basically gives you nothing or just kind of holding money on the side, I decided it to put it into two stocks and these two stocks are covered call ETFs. So I have a whole video on that, so I won't go too much into detail, but if you're wondering what those ETFs are called, they are QYLD and JEPI. They pay out anywhere, anywhere between 7 and 10% as the dividend yield, which is huge, and they also are not that volatile. So as you guys can see, I'm down about $65, but because I'm getting $99.40 in interest, it kind of offsets that, so it's kind of like I'm getting an extra $30. Which, I mean, isn't that big of a deal, but at the same time, it is pretty good considering how much you could get from the alternatives. Um, also, let me let me just point something out real quick. So if we go to the income section, you can see that I'm estimated to get about $220 over the next 12 months, over the next year. And this does not count reinvesting as well as adding more money. I do add a little bit more per paycheck. So as we can see, if we go back here, I'm getting more and more per month. I mean, there are some anomalies over here. I mean, we went up here, but then we went down, but then we went back up. But I mean, that's kind of the thing when it comes to these ETFs. Sometimes they're gonna give a little bit more, sometimes they're gonna give a little bit less. I think year to date for 2022, even though it's only been about seven to eight days, we actually just got a huge payment of $30. So I have no idea where that came from, but we'll take it, you know what I mean? But anyways, with that being said, we are at about $58.92 with a monthly average of $14.73. This is one of my bigger incomes, especially because it's a very small size relative to my entire portfolio. It's about $2,700 where my dividend portfolio paid about, 
uh, just around double, but it's about four times the size of this account. And unlike my Roth IRA, these dividends are being taxed. So that is something to look into if you are considering something like this. So that being said, that's pretty much it for this portfolio. Let's take a look at my next. Next up, we got my Robinhood account. And for some reason, I didn't change the name. So let me just do that real quick. But anyways, with this portfolio, I'm not even looking to make dividends. If I do make dividends, they are from free stocks or they're just there. I mean, it is what it is. Maybe they're from ETFs. But these $9.63 that I got in the year 2021 was pretty much luck. As you guys can see, the monthly average was only $0.80. Cents. So, I mean... With this account, I'm not really looking to get dividends. Same thing with my public account. So we're gonna quickly breeze by these. Same thing, as you guys can see that I don't really have too much coming in here. In December, we did have that one ETF that pays out very large, like the ARCW. This one is, I believe, GIGE, which has not been doing too well. So we're just gonna kind of breeze by these. And with that being said, let's take a look at the total overall dividends I received in 2021. Uh, for the most exciting part about this video is the total dividend income for 2021. So in 2020, we got $37.55, which is pretty substantial considering my portfolio is very small relative to what it is now. But then let's take a look at the year 2021. We have received $195.84. That is a huge exponential growth. Of course, we're adding more money just to kind of reiterate that but it is a huge growth and it's all about that snowball effect i mean if we take a look at the amount over here i mean i can only assume in 2022 instead of being over here or we might be all the way up to here and this graph is going to look completely stupid just because of the amount of exponential growth that's what i'm hoping for at the very least but hopefully this kind of inspires you a little bit to start your own journey towards passive income. If we look at the amount of total dividends earned throughout the years from 2020, or actually from 2019, where I got 84 cents from like Acorns when I first started, all the way to 2021, we are at $234.23. I'm not saying that's a huge amount of money. I mean, it really, I mean, compared to certain things in life, it could be. I mean, this would probably last you a whole two years of Netflix. Are, I mean, it is what it is, but at the end of the day, it is a lot of money. Maybe a lot of you guys out there are making way more and this is really nothing, but at the end of the day, this is just a start to the journey and that's what I'm really looking for inside of all my portfolios, especially trying to reach financial freedom. And with that being said, looking at the monthly averages in 2020, we went from $5.67 all the way to $16.32, almost a three times increase. Man, I love to see it and hopefully you guys do too. And here's just like a cool little graph to kind of show you by the quarters. So if you can see Q4 is my favorite quarter just because of you getting paid out the most, especially from those ETFs, RW, ESPO, GIGE, they be paying me out extra in the final months. But nonetheless, it's not about how much you make. It's all about the journey. So with that being said, hopefully this inspired you guys to start your own passive income journey. And again, there are some things that you have to look into, for example, tax implications. Right now, I am reinvesting all of my dividends to be able to get to financial freedom earlier. I'm not using my dividends at all. Maybe you guys out there are older or some of you guys have a different strategy where you're actually using these dividends to pay off some of your expenses. So anyways, with that being said, I've received almost $200 in 2021 and I couldn't have done it without any of you guys watching. I know you guys aren't like I'm not monetized or anything like that. But kind of having this community and kind of having these people, all you guys watching my content, liking my videos, it does motivate me. So I definitely do appreciate it. And with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it or got any value or inspiration, definitely hit the like button and subscribe and stick around. We're going to start a community over here and hopefully be able to grow our portfolios together. And with that being said, peace out, guys. And guys, remember, everybody eats.